What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as some of you guys might know, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly's Extreme Z Awakening will be dropping on Global in a couple days on the 26th. So in today's video, I want to give you guys all the details about his EZA as well as his Extreme Z battle event to uh, get you guys prepared for when it comes out. Okay, so with all that said, why don't we start with the unit first and we'll quickly go over his pre-awakened details and then talk about his EZA details so you guys can compare the two. So starting with the old leader skill, it's extreme types, key plus 3, or extreme tech types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, or super tech types, key plus 1, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack, immense damage, and greatly lowers defense, and passive was attack plus 100%, attack plus 12%, and defense minus 10% per key sphere obtained. So obviously, this guy um, had a lot of issues. Okay, you know, he had one very specific issue, which was this defense debuff right here. 12% attack on top of the 100% attack he gets to start. So 12% for each key sphere, right? Is a lot. He was a very good nuker. But the fact that if you got 10 key spheres, this guy literally had zero defense, or yeah, basically no defense, was a huge problem, right? So. They did kind of fix it with the Extreme Z Awakening. Um, it's still a bit of an issue, but not nearly as bad. All right, so with that said, let's uh, take a look at the EZA details. Leader skill is Extreme Tech, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 130% versus 120%. And then Super Tech type, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 90% versus the 50% uh, from before, and also key plus three versus key plus one, right? and super attack, immense damage, and massively lowers defense. So massively is a, let's see, 80% debuff for three turns versus, uh, I believe it was greatly before. Yeah, greatly is 50%. So now it's 80% versus 50% debuff to the enemy's defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, attack plus 12%, and defense minus 6% per key sphere obtained. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack with three or more tech key spheres obtained. And medium chance would be 25% for that additional super. So as you can see, now he's getting 120% attack and defense as opposed to only attack before. And he's getting the same attack per key sphere, but less of a debuff on his defense. So he's still losing defense for every key sphere obtained, but he's not gonna have no defense if you get like 10 or more key spheres, right? So um, I don't love the fact, honestly, that they kept this. I think that he would have been okay still, like without this, you know, extra defense debuff. I don't think he would have been like super broken, you know, if they just kept it like, you know, attack was 12% and no debuff, but it is what it is. I don't design the cards, um, but overall, I would say this EZA is good. It doesn't blow me away. Offensively, he is very impressive, right? He still does a lot of damage like he did before, but now he does even more damage, and uh, he's got a little bit more defense too, which is very useful. But obviously, don't expect him to be a tank by any means. He's just uh, less of a liability on defense now, right? And of course, the additional um, chance for two supers, possibly three with some hidden potential investment is awesome. And, uh, you know, getting three or more tech key spheres really isn't that hard. So, like I said, overall, solid, solid EZA. Not as impressive as some of the more recent Extreme Z Awakenings we've seen. But keep in mind that he was the first 120 lead EZA on JP. He came out all the way back in July of 2020. And he's just been pushed back a couple times on Global, right? And uh, since then, I think Bandai has learned from some of their mistakes here. And the EZAs for Kid Buu, as well as Super 17, were both really, really good. Uh, by the way, he is coming out on November 26th, 2020 for Global, so in about two and a half days from now. And uh, in terms of his stats, obviously with the EZA, he gets a pretty big bump in all of his stats. Before the EZA, he had 16,700 attack, 14,850 HP, and 9,875 defense at rainbow status. And after EZA, his attack goes up to 19,683, 17,556 HP, and 11,162 defense. Really impressive stats. Unfortunately, that defense will get reduced quite a bit when you uh, give him orbs, right? So 
there you go that is the tech super saiyan 3 broly extreme z awakening and now let's pop over to his extreme z battle event right here the weakness for this event is the siblings bond category so obviously if you can try to build a siblings bond team or at least a team with as many siblings bond units as possible because they'll do much more damage to broly and take a lot less damage right and uh, as with every Extreme Z battle event, as you're going through the stages, you're getting one Dragonstone per stage from 1 to 30. You're getting some tech orbs along the way, small, medium, and large, as well as the medals you need to Extreme Z Awaken Broly. And after stage 3, Broly gets an additional damage reduction of 60% against AGL types. Obviously, it's just not a good idea to bring AGL units because he is tech after all. And then after level 9, characters that are SSR rarity or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage. Obviously, this was implemented to stop people from bringing Devilman to try to nuke the event. And then after level 12, he gets additional damage reduction of 70% against AGL and Fizz types. And finally, after level 19, he gets additional damage reduction of 80% against AGL, STR, Fizz, and all extreme types. So at this point, only Super Int and Super Tech types will be doing any kind of, you know, decent damage to him. So obviously, try to bring as many of those units as you can, especially uh, Super Int. And from there, you're getting some more medals, orbs, kais, and stones for clearing the stages. And once you clear stages 1 to 30, you get all the medals you need to fully extreme Z Awaken Super Saiyan 3 Broly. You get a bunch of orbs, 5,200 small, 4,000 medium, and 360 large, enough to fully rainbow a tech unit. And you also get 11 tech Grand Kai's and 30 Dragon Stones. And we also have some missions. The first one is to win the Extreme Z battle within 1 minute and 20 seconds at level 10 or higher for 1 stone. Win the Extreme Z battle within 1 minute and 45 seconds at level 20 or higher for 2 Dragon Stones. And finally, win the Extreme Z battle at level 20 or higher with a character from the Sibling Spawn category on your team for one more stone. So in total, we can get up to 34 Dragon Stones from the event. And here's a quick look at the Sibling Spawn category. Now unfortunately, the only um, summonable leader for this category right now is the LR Gobros, but you could also pick up the AGL Android 18 from the Battlefield Shop. And she's a 120% Siblings Bond leader after Awakening. Now, of course, you do have to be a little bit careful with her because she is AGL type, but um, she's basically the second best leader if you guys don't have the LR Cobros. Of course, you could also try a Super Int team. I think a good mono Super Int team should also be able to get the job done. Okay, so that is pretty much everything you got to know about the upcoming Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly Extreme Z Awakening. Um, if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, and myself or somebody else who's uh, you know knowledgeable about the game should be able to help you. Uh, other than that, I guess uh, look forward to the stream I'll be doing once his events becomes available, the showcase as well after I awaken him. And uh, guys, thank you for watching the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.